it's May 31st. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm Mike Stanton here with David Young from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. David, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, Mike. So we took a week off last week for the Memorial Day holiday. We missed quite a bit, at least in relative terms, in performance of the muni bond market versus other fixed income markets. What happened in the mar- uh, month of May and, and how are we looking as we uh, go into the second half of the year? Yeah, so today we got some economic data, uh, highly anticipated. Um, the core PCE rose uh, two tenths of a percent month over month and 2.8 percent year over year. Uh, both of those were in line with expectations. But um, when you kind of uh, take a look at the market today, uh, you could see treasuries being a little bit volatile, uh, equities pulling back a little bit, um, and munis are actually you know surprisingly steady. Uh, you know, when we look at the Fed and uh, their approach to fighting inflation right now, um, it sure has changed, you know, week over week, month over month. Uh, it's still a wait and see approach. Um, but I, I believe today's economic data proves we're still quite a ways away from a loose monetary policy. Um, so, you know, again, data is, is the focus um, when we look at the uh the fed interest rate uh predictions you know we're looking at potential rate cuts at the end of this year um so again that that's a moving target and uh just something for um the investors to keep an eye on and in the muni market specifically i know we saw some reports or some great uh, quotes from jp morgan and uh, from our friends at the bond buyer earlier today uh yields in the muni market are at their year-to-date highs um Right now, retail doesn't seem all that impressed by it, right? I mean, the, the cash flows to municipal bond mutual funds were relatively light this week. And we've seen a fairly significant move in, in ratios. Uh, the muni market has become more attractive versus the treasury market over the last month. Uh, we saw the ratios, particularly in that 10-year area in the belly of the curve, moving upwards. What's going on on the demand and supply side? Yeah, so uh, as you mentioned, uh, Lipper reported uh, weekly muni bond outflows of $89 million. Um, the supply, you know, we rattled off about 12 billion uh, per week over the last three weeks. Um, next week, uh, and we'll get into this shortly, uh, we're seeing another 15 billion that's coming to the market. Uh, one thing, though, to keep in mind is June's reinvestment is, you know, expected to be pretty substantial. I think we're looking at 36 to 40 billion. So, you know, the supply and demand uh, uh, could end up just kind of meeting at that equilibrium point. So that's just something to keep uh, keep in mind. Yeah, great point. And last week, this this week's uh, volume was a little bit lighter. It was a holiday shortened week. Fairly high uh, bond insurance utilization rates, right? A very strong week for BAM's calendar. Yeah, so this week we had about $7 billion, uh, on the calendar. Uh, BAM insured 20 transactions for $580 million of par. So we had a great week. Uh, the two transactions I kind of want to highlight are the $270 million San Francisco Community College District, and that was with Morgan Stanley, and a $130 million University of Tennessee Knoxville project, and that was across three series, and that was with RBC. And looking ahead to next week, the overall calendar expands again. We're going to be well over $10 billion, uh, possibly as much as $14 billion. What does the BAM slate look like? Yeah, so our uh, two transactions that are noteworthy are the 291 million city of Hutto, Texas, and that's going to be with RV, uh, excuse me, Baird, and then a $120 million Colorado Springs school district. Uh, those are COPs, and that will be with RBC. I know our public finance team remains uh, quite busy working on transactions still throughout the month of uh, June. So we'll see uh, if the market stays active, uh, sell in June and go away for the summer, something like that. We'll see how it plays out. Thanks for your time, David. Have a great weekend. Thanks for having me, Mike.